So I'm going to work on the inline figure eight. Up here I have a clove hitch with a safety to hold on to this bar. So that way I have a good opportunity to work with this rope down here. So I'm going to take this rope. I'm going to turn it into a loop. So you got a nice loop down here. I usually have the rope on the bottom. And then you can kind of make a bite with this. And so when you're creating the inline figure eight, whatever direction you want the eight to face, you need to tie on the opposite rope. So if you want the eight to face this way, you have to tie it on this part of the rope. If you want it to face that way, you gotta tie it on this part of the rope. So we're gonna face it figure eight down. So we're gonna start with this. And because of my ropes on the bottom, I wanna make sure that this is gonna stay here. So I'm just gonna pinch this cross right here, make a bite, and I'm gonna go over the top. If you have this rope on top, that's fine. You're just gonna go underneath rather than on top. But mine's in underneath, so I'm gonna go on top. I'm gonna wrap it this way. I'm gonna take this end and stuff it in there. And then I have my inline figure eight, or what's also known as a trucker's hitch. But here we have the inline figure eight. Now you can just pull this, you can tighten it down. And that's your inline figure eight. Part of our test is being able to tie uh, figure eight, figure eight in both directions. So you have one facing this way, and then you can throw that up there. And you get a nice bite. Again, I have I have this going on for me right now. Pinching the cross, make a bite. Now, I want to do it on this one because I want it facing that way. So I'm just going to turn it underneath, go around, and through the bottom. And now I've made two figure eights going opposite ways.